It's rare, I think, in the creative world that you get a chance to really spend time with other folks who speak the same language. I think even rarer to be able to not only find folks who understand the creative process, but can also speak the Ignatian language and the language of Ignatian spirituality. The work that we do is so often solitary that the opportunity presented by the Jesuit Conference to be together and have the time and the space to see where the spirit is leading uh, has been a real gift. And so when the invitation came, I thought, well, where else would I want to be and who else would I want to be with than these people at this time? I'm John Doherty. I am a writer. Uh, I write for America Magazine and various other outlets. Uh, I've had some work featured on Jesuit Media Lab. Um, and I'm also a high school campus minister. My name is Sister Colleen Gibson. I'm a Sister St. Joseph of Philadelphia. I'm a writer, podcast host, and I also serve full time in a parish setting as a pastoral care coordinator. Ignatian Creator Summit is a gathering of creative folks from across the Jesuit world, uh, coming from different disciplines, different mediums, different areas, uh, all coming together to talk about how our faith informs our art and vice versa. It's a time to be together, to build community, to get to know one another, to see where the Holy Spirit is leading, uh, and to, to be in community and to create in community. And in the larger sense, the Jesuit Media Lab uh, is really a project that helps to foster that sense of creativity. Ignatian spirituality is inherently creative. I think uh, Ignatius obviously based so much of what he did in the imagination and in uh, trying to use our creative faculties to connect with God and believing that the imagination was a place where we could meet God. And so I think that that's something that we can extrapolate out today and the way in which we create, the way in which we imagine a new world, the way in which we try to take uh, whatever's inside of us and put it out there in a creative artistic way is also a way that we can collaborate with God and a way that we can uh, live out our faith. Our role as creators is to create something beautiful, to join God in that act of creation. The way in which I create, the way in which I write, the way in which I interview and hear people's stories give life to God's life alive in the world. It's witnessing to the incarnation, it's witnessing to God's love that surrounds us and giving that witness to other people and inviting them into that relationship, which you know, Ignatius does all the time, Jesuits around the world do it. People who are living out this charism are doing it. So one of the things that I think I most appreciate about these gatherings was connecting not only with other Ignatian creative people, but Ignatian creative people who are trying to balance that along with uh, other very, very busy lives. Uh, it's been especially affirming to come here and meet other folks who are parents, uh, who are involved in some other form of active ministry, uh, connecting with people who, who kind of share that same struggle of having this deep creative urge and this desire to, uh, to create, but also having the, uh, the very real kind of restrictions on time and seeing how other folks not only are struggling with that, but how they're figuring that out. Yeah, I've seen over the years that I've come to the Ignatian Creator Summit, these relationships grow and deepen in a number of ways. And I mean, I host a podcast and to be able to meet with these people outside of this space of the Ignatian Creator Summit to say, how can we create something together? How can we learn more about your creative process and deepen this conversation around creativity, around Ignatian spirituality? It's been a real gift.